everyone, welcome back to Cricket Bat Info. I'm Mark, and today we're doing a bit of a repair video. So, uh, the same chap, Peter, who bought the dragon, that, the white dragon that you saw the other day, get that right for the first time, he's purchased this second hand CA Plus 1500 Players Edition, and you can see here the grains look really nice. There's some dark grains going on here, and this is second hand, and I'll give you a tap up to let you hear what's going on. So, that difference in sound there. In that area there. That's delamination. So when the wood is really, really dry, um, all those impacts have basically separated uh, a layer beneath the surface from that top layer. So the way to repair this uh, normally is to try and get into these grains without uh, being too invasive and get some glue underneath and compress it down. But what we're going to attempt here is a different uh, repair that I've heard about which involves super glue which is normally what people repair delamination with and mum's iron. So this is definitely the first time I've done it and I'm not 100% sure how this is going to turn out but I have been told this is pretty much how it's done. Now you can see how these lines are darker. Somebody has attempted a repair on this before. Uh, that part is definite. So we're going to have to try and get in here and we're going to use this little syringe with a very fine tip on it. Let's put that there. And this really, really fine super glue. Put that in the light. You can see just how liquidy that is. So that's super thin modeling. So if you ever want to buy super glue in bulk, don't look for super glue. Uh, look for that cyanocrylate. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So what we'll do now is basically we'll speed up the video and you'll see me trying to uh, make some room for my uh, needle to get in there and get some glue underneath. Okay, so basically where I've cut along this, uh, as you've seen then, with the Stanley knife, I was cutting glue, so there was no wood. So now we're just going to see if we can actually lift this up. So I've got here an old boot knife that over time I've just sanded and sanded all my shoe glue off of it to the point that it's become a bit thinner. So we're going to try and see if we can lift the grain. If we can lift the grain, uh, enough of these, we can just get the glue under there and then we're going to do the bond. Okay, so we put the bat underneath this here, try and keep this level, and we can actually see separation of the grains there as we pry this in. So the, that super glue, as you've seen, is really, really fine. So the question is how well it's going to get into this area, and to be honest, your guess is as good as mine because I haven't done this before. 
Partner's looking at me like, what Alright, so hopefully my iron is working. Okay, I've just got a little bit of this uh, wax tape here. I'm just going to put that over there for a second. And we're going to use the heat from the iron and its weight. Press this down. So this is the part I'm undecided on. So we're using the heat as an activator for bonding. And now we'll have a look. And you can see here that all that glue has bonded. It's still, it's got a bit of a, I think that's more the super glue. The glue, right, yeah. The question is, I think that's better. I think that's actually done something. That's not. That's not what it was. No. All right. So there you go. Doubters. thing is you can repeat this next time yeah all right so that's our delamination cure now what I've got to do is give it a sandbag how do you think it came up awesome yeah I'm really surprised at how well it actually worked to be honest well, yeah particularly as it was glued before so tap it up with a ball and there's a little spot there yeah but... It's nowhere near what it was. Yeah. It was almost, it sounded hollow before. Yeah. So there you go. There's a quick fix. Get your hot iron on it and get killed by your wife. <laughs>